Have you ever wondered how changing a habit can impact your life? Today, we dive into the world of self-improvement, exploring a 30-day journey of refraining from masturbation. This isn't just about abstinence, but a transformative experience that unfolds day by day. As we venture through this challenge, we'll delve into the physical and psychological changes, the highs and lows, and most importantly, the potential benefits that await. So buckle up and prepare to explore the transformative journey of self-improvement and self-awareness. Day one begins with a conscious decision, a decision to change. As the ink of commitment dries, the first few days might seem like an uphill battle. The mind, conditioned to old habits, will resist this new change. This is a test of willpower, a mental tug of war between the old and the new. By the middle of the first week, the struggle starts to ease. The brain begins to adjust to the new normal. It's like a detox, clearing out the clutter, making room for fresh thoughts and perspectives. Now let's talk about energy. Have you ever noticed how sluggish you feel after indulging in self-pleasure? That's because the body uses a significant amount of energy in the process. So when you decide to abstain, guess what happens to all that saved energy? It doesn't just vanish, it gets redirected. You might find yourself feeling more alert, more energetic. That book you've been meaning to read? You finally have the energy to pick it up. That workout you've been putting off? Suddenly, it doesn't seem so daunting. Then comes the emotional stability. One of the biggest misconceptions about self-pleasure is that it's a stress reliever. In reality, it's a temporary escape, a short-lived distraction. The stress, it's still there, waiting for you once the distraction fades. By abstaining, you are not simply running away from stress. You're facing it head on. You're learning to cope without using a temporary band-aid. This might seem challenging at first, but with time, it becomes empowering. You start to realize that you're stronger than your stress. You're bigger than your problems. As the first week ends, you start to notice a sense of control and confidence building up within you. You've successfully navigated through the initial struggle, tapped into newfound energy, and learned to handle stress in a healthier way. You've taken the first step towards self-improvement, and that, my friend, is a victory worth celebrating. Entering the second week, the struggle subsides and the benefits become more apparent. As you continue to resist the urge, something remarkable happens. Your mind, once clouded with distractions, starts to clear. The energy that was once spent on momentary pleasure is now being redirected towards more productive pursuits. Imagine your brain as a busy highway. During the first week, this highway was congested with thoughts of immediate gratification. But as you step into the second week, the traffic starts to ease. The lanes open up, and your thoughts are free to flow smoothly. This heightened focus is one of the first major benefits you'll notice. With this newfound clarity, your productivity soars. Tasks that seemed daunting before are now tackled with ease. Projects are completed faster, goals are met sooner, and the sense of achievement you feel is far more satisfying than any fleeting pleasure. You start to realize the true potential of your mind when it is not preoccupied with immediate gratification. As your productivity increases, so does your quality of sleep. With your mind less cluttered and more at peace, falling asleep becomes easier. You wake up feeling refreshed and energized, ready to take on the day. The dark circles under your eyes start to fade, and your face begins to glow with a vitality that wasn't there before. During this second week, you might also notice an improvement in your physical health. The energy that was once wasted is now being used to fuel your body. You feel stronger, healthier, and more alive than ever before. This second week is a turning point, a clear indication that your body is starting to adjust to the change. The benefits are not just psychological, but physical as well. You're not just resisting an urge, you're transforming your life, one day at a time. By the end of the second week, the benefits are tangible, and the journey becomes more rewarding. You've come a long way, but remember, the journey doesn't end here. There's still more to discover, more benefits to reap, and more potential to unlock. So keep going, keep resisting, and keep transforming. You're on the right path, and the best is yet to come. The third week is when the real transformation begins. We've reached the third week, a time when the changes are no longer subtle, but rather profound. This is the week when the body and mind start to harmonize, creating a symphony of self-improvement that reverberates throughout your life. Let's dive into what's happening here. First off, your physical health. You might notice an uptick in your energy levels. That's because your body is no longer expending energy in ways it used to. It's as if you've unlocked a secret stash of vitality that's been waiting for you to discover it. Your sleep quality may also improve, leading to more restful nights and more productive days. Then, there's the motivation. Remember the brain fog from before? Now you might find it's lifted. Ideas are clearer, goals seem achievable, 
and tasks that once seemed daunting now appear more manageable. You're not just dreaming big, you're doing big. That's the power of self-discipline, my friend. Now let's talk about interpersonal relationships. You've probably noticed a change there too. With your newfound energy and clarity, you're more present in your interactions. You listen better, you express yourself more effectively, and you're more attuned to the needs and feelings of others. Your relationships are no longer just about you, but about the connection you share with others. This third week is a testament to the power of self-control and the beauty of self-improvement. You're not just surviving, you're thriving. Your body is healthier, your mind is sharper, and your relationships are deeper. And the best part? This is just the beginning. The changes you're experiencing now are not temporary. They are the foundations of a new lifestyle, a new you. The benefits you've reaped from this challenge are becoming embedded in your everyday life. They are your new normal. As the third week concludes, the benefits of the challenge become a part of your everyday life. This is not the end of a journey, but the beginning of a lifelong pursuit of self-improvement and self-discovery. The final week is the culmination of your journey, but it's only the beginning. As you venture into the fourth week of this journey, something remarkable happens. The profound sense of control you've been developing over your impulses and desires starts to manifest in all areas of your life. It's as if a switch has been flipped and you're suddenly in command of your own ship. Your self-discipline is no longer about resisting temptation, it's about steering your life in the direction you want it to go. Along with this newfound control comes a heightened sense of self-esteem. You start to radiate confidence, not the cocky, superficial kind, but a deep, genuine confidence that comes from knowing you can trust yourself. You've proven to yourself that you can do hard things, that you can break free from old habits and create new ones. You're not the same person you were at the beginning of this journey, and you know it. But perhaps one of the most significant changes during this fourth week is the sense of balance you start to feel. With your energy no longer being drained by frequent masturbation, you find yourself with a surplus of vitality. You're able to channel this energy into activities that enrich your life and contribute to your overall well-being. You might find yourself being more active, picking up new hobbies, or even excelling in your work or studies. This balanced lifestyle is not just a result of the challenge, but a testament to the transformative power of self-control. As you conclude your 30-day challenge, you may find yourself wondering what comes next. The beauty of this journey is that the benefits don't end on day 30. The control, confidence, and balance you've cultivated over the past month can continue to grow and evolve, shaping your life in ways you never thought possible. As you conclude your 30-day challenge, you realize it's not the end, but a new beginning towards a healthier, happier life. So what does a 30-day journey of self-improvement and self-awareness look like? It's a roadmap to a healthier, more balanced life. Over these 30 days, you've seen physical and mental transformations. You've experienced increased energy, better focus, and a newfound sense of self-control. This challenge has not only changed your body, but has reshaped your mindset. It's shown you the power of discipline and the rewards of perseverance. Remember, the journey of self-improvement is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about making long-term sustainable changes for a better you.